Hello everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Robin Man Karmachare from uh, Nepal. So I'll be presenting on uh, uh, vascular anastomosis. What are the step by step uh, procedures for vascular anastomosis? I hope uh, this presentation will help you learn uh, more and more about vascular anastomosis. So, uh, why do we need vascular anastomosis? Uh, as you all know, uh, it can it's very much uh, necessary during repair of vascular injuries and also for uh, surgical anastomosis for different vascular surgical procedures. And the uh, timely vascular injury repair uh, done will have a very good impact on limb salvage. Similarly, um, surgical anastomosis and repair of blood vessels is an important asset to all the surgeons, not only to vascular surgeons. So what are the principles of vascular anastomosis? So there are many uh, important principles. So they are like adequate exposure, proximal and distal control, careful and gentle handling of the tissues, heparinization before clamping the vessels, appropriate di diameter of the anastomosis in relation to the vessel size, endothelium to endothelium approximation, mono uh, use of monofilament, which are non-absorbable sutures, and uh, full thickness sutures, small bites evenly placed along the anastomosis, and no tension of the anastomosis line or not. So these are the important principles of vascular anastomosis. So we have evenly spread out sutures like in the in the like uh, numbers in cloth. So if we aim to put like twelve sutures, this should be spread out in the same fashion as the uh, our signs in the cloth. So this in this picture I am showing most of the important instruments for vascular anastomosis. Some of you might be familiar with all. Some might think uh, some are unique instruments. But these are the grossly major instruments for vascular anastomosis. And these are for the fine sets. The major instrument uh, which are needed during the anastomosis is like castro bio needle holder, pot scissors, um, yeah, like ring tip forceps, and sometimes of diamond tip for fine forceps, etc. This is the fine scissors, this is the retractor, sand vein retractor, and these are the um, forceps like action forceps and this is the number 11 scalpel with the handle this is to this is actually nerve hook to tighten or uh, arrange the threads these are the rubber shorts this is mosquito this is a right angle and action force and we we need like 20 ml syringes 10 ml syringes 5 ml syringes and sometimes we need this uh, feeding tube towel clips it's the same scalpel number 11 15. and we need uh, some uh, bulldog clamp and uh, specific clamps are there like uh, this type of clamp one of the clamp we have named as dean's clamp and it's better to have a good light and vision and uh, loops of very good optics and vessel loops are needed to and they have a different purpose like retraction of the vessels. Sometimes it can be used as clamps, well been dissection, etc. And in some cases, we need a vascular graft. So, what are the types of vascular anastomosis? Uh, they can be arterio, arterio, arterial anastomosis, which can be into side, into into in, into side, side to side, and sometimes interposition processing graft. Arterial venous anastomosis, like in vein to our side artery, in vein to in artery. And veno venous anastomosis. So, in terms of uh, types of anastomosis, I'm mainly dealing about into end anastomosis and into side anastomosis because these are encountered most often. So, what is the technical vascular anastomosis? Uh, we should have interrupted, uh, there's an uh, interrupted suture technique, you know, there is continuous single suture technique, which can be open or parachuting or closed one, and continuous double suture technique, which also can be open parachuting. And this is the single suture technique where we use one suture and, and we make a tie and then start. And this is a double suture technique where we tie on two ends and then continue. And this is single suture technique par parasuting. And uh, this is continuous single suture open anastomosis technique with parasuting. This end to side anastomosis, this end to end anastomosis. And these are the side-to-side -side anastomosis. 
So what affects the graft patency like technical factors, graft related factors, patient related factors and some drugs are needed. So needle handling should be perfect. Mm, this is a picture of simple end to end stretching, patulated stretching. And these are some similar things. How do we start in the beginning? Where do we start? And this is how you use patch. So surgical skill is very important, like <clears throat> approximation of intima to intima, angle of needle, bite of sutures, the tension, number of stitches, number of tension, etc. And we have to prepare a graft before and and gentle traction on long end with the left hand and left hand stays stationary only on the only the right hand works and we have to tie knots properly and sometimes in some cases we have to use the sound so I once again would like to place these 10 principles of vascular analysis thank you